Hey guys, what is up? Zero here. Welcome back to Doki Doki Celestial Restraint. In the last episode, uh, pretty, uh, pretty standard stuff happened. Uh, we, you know, joined the club, did all that just jazz. Uh, we started, seemed like we were more interested in Yuri than everybody. We ended up actually getting a date with Yuri. She, she asked us out though this time. It wasn't that we asked, you know, her out. She asked us out, so you know. Equality, but <laughs> very progressive. Um, and you know, we we had a choice between telling Sayori about our date or not telling her. We I decided to tell her because I feel like lying about this feels like it could lead to some unnecessary drama. So I told her, and now I'm regretting telling her because apparently she said she was going to go on the date to make secretly like go where we are to make sure nobody interrupts. And that sounds like a terrible idea. I don't know <laughs> why we didn't just tell her no. So yeah, uh, so that's happening, I guess, tomorrow. I think that date's tomorrow, right? I don't actually remember when it was. Yeah, we get to the cafe at 4.30. Yeah, okay, so, yeah, so we have a date and that was basically it. Uh, there's Radiohead references a lot for some reason. I don't know, I guess exit music. <laughs> Natsuki likes Radiohead. Uh, so yeah, so I think, yeah, now we are the next day. See what happens. Still don't know why this is called Celestial Restraint yet, but I mean, I guess we'll see. Another day passes, and classes in the club meeting pass like a spring wind. Oh, wow, we oh, we skipped the club meeting. Okay, wow. Barely? I could barely. I'm assuming it means I, I mean barely. <laughs> barely, and I mean barely. Talk to Yuri when we shared poems because we, because we, he was, because she was reading. Hey, what? He couldn't share poems because Yuri... Why was Yuri reading during our sharing poems? That was a little mean. <laughs> Natsuki was also a bit guilty of not being able to talk to Yuri much because she was talking to her about Radiohead again. But everything I can't regret. Despite everything, I can't regret anything about today. It's finally my date with Yuri. I already did the poem for tomorrow. <laughs> it's very inconsistent. <laughs> he's just thinking some of these things and some of these things he's just saying out loud. <laughs> I already did the poem for tomorrow. I already finished this week's homework and I already told Sayori I was going out in a little while. I look at my phone to see the time. Nope. Oh, 4.25 p.m. Sayori told me a thousand times to go half an hour before the agreed time so as to not keep Yuri waiting. Although it seems a bit over the top to me to think I can empathize and understand why Sayori suggested. Yuri will arrive earlier than agreed, too. Imagine both of us arriving earlier so the other doesn't, doesn't wait makes me feel very... It's like a conformity in my environment, just thinking about it. it feels very. <laughs> Sometimes someone knocking on the door brings me out of my thoughts. Must be Sayori for us to go to the cafe. Open the door so I can confirm that Sayori's the one who knocked on my door. Good, good. Hello again, Zero. Hello, Sayori. Sayori, not to belittle you or anything. But if you're going to keep an eye out for anyone, you know entering the cafe besides Yuri... Don't you think you should have dressed in something less flashy? Flashy? What? He's wearing a pink shirt and blue jeans. <laughs> blue jean shorts. How is this flashy? <laughs> yeah, Sayori. What, you, what is this? You're looking way too nice. I didn't find clothes like a camouflage with the environment. Don't you have a black shirt with a cat on it? Black doesn't attract so much attention when there are several people around. Um... I've got it in my room lying around, but I doubt I'll keep it. You've got... <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> so you got fat when I neglected you? Oh my god! <laughs> what? <laughs> Why do you always be so mean to me? I don't know, that was fucking rude. <laughs> Your humor's twisted and very bad, Zero. It's very bad. <laughs> And so you love me, do you? What? I think he means you still love me. <laughs> Best friend? Let's better meet at the cafe. I'm not liking where this conversation's going. <laughs> also, I got some confirmation between uh, this episode and last episode. They, some people were actually saying some of the... I think some of my ch Twitch chat was saying it too. But I got some confirmation. Some of the people were saying some lines that were actually said and some slang that was said was Spanish. So yeah, that guarantee that basically confirms my suspicion that this mod was created by somebody who Spanish is probably their first language. English is not their first one. So yeah, I could definitely tell because a lot of the a lot of the grammar feels like it's like missing a word here or two. And yeah, all I can really say is just 
proofreading could really do a lot for this. Like, I, like I'm trying to just kind of go through and just accept some of the miss words and mistypes here and there because, I mean, I feel like we'd be here all day if I sat here and questioned every single one. But, you know, just, just seriously, please, for final, for like a, for a full, actually, I think this is a full release. I don't actually know if this is a demo or not. But, uh, you know, maybe an update, ver updated version. Proofread, please. <laughs> a little chuckle, I follow her out the door. The cafe isn't that far away. Let's say Ori's staying on a street corner. She can have a view of our street and the cafe street. Wait, where's she going? The cafe isn't that far away. Say Ori's staying on a street corner. Because she's just gonna stand on a street corner while we have our date? This is some weird dedication. I thought Say would at least, like, sit inside or something. She's just standing outside. This is as far as I can go, Romeo. I wish you lots of luck. Thanks for offering to do this, Sayori. And I appreciate you wishing me well. That's what we're for. I wish you the best, Sayori. What we're for? What are you saying? <laughs> this either implies two things. One, Sayori is being extremely sexist and saying that this is what women are for, that they're tools. Or two... Sayori is implying that there are multiple Sayoris and that all of them serve the purpose to assist you. Or three, it's just a typo, but personally, I like to think about the multiple Sayori theory. Without being able to give her anything else of thanks, I give her a thumbs up as a sign of approval and appreciation for Sayori. And she gives me an ear to your smile to cheer me up. Cheer me up? Was I upset? <laughs> when I walk into the cafe, I can tell it's mostly empty. I head to the barista to ask for a table or two. To a table for two. <laughs> a table or two. I need a little bit more than just one table. I'm gonna need a lot. <laughs> Normally I wouldn't do that and just sit at any table without saying anything. But something tells me that Yuri arriving. At, but something tells me that Yuri arriving asking for our table. Hey kid, what's the local count? Uh, t t t kid, what? I thought the would the would the barista be a what I don't know <laughs> maybe again maybe it's a translation thing because <laughs> like a barista wouldn't be a child nothing new boy shall I serve you the usual actually today I'm here to hang out with a girl when a girl with purple hair and purple eyes arrives can you take her to my table please as you say Romeo I'll also bring you the menu so they can see what they're going to eat please nothing else <laughs> You're asking if you have to bring a menu. <laughs> Why is the barista asking me if they have to do their job? <laughs> For you, I could put in a couple's discount, if you know what I mean. You flatter me, but we're friends still. Soon you wouldn't be. Probably actually give this person a different voice. I've just been using my normal one. <laughs> Without being able to say anything else, I head over to the table where I always sit waiting for Yuri. I don't know if it's a woman or not. <laughs> Look at my phone. 4.50 p.m. Yuri shouldn't be more than 15 minutes at the most. At least I would have a, at least I would have downloaded a game to pass the time. I can play Tetris. Probably because I'm waiting for Yuri, but Yuri reminds me of Te Yuri reminds me of Tetris. <laughs> is that what he was gonna say? What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? What well, Yuri reminds him of Tetris? <laughs> oh man, that, 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 that that's a charming uh, that's a charming compliment. You tell a woman that you she reminds you of Tetris. Oh, you should be head over heels for you. Good afternoon, girl. <laughs> Not even like ma'am. Good afternoon, girl. Good afternoon, ma'am. How can I help you? At my table here, the barista who seemed to be talking louder than usual for me to notice. A super rollered girl with her back to me. Only I know it's Yuri. Is it you who is waiting for my star customer, Zero? I can see how the girl nods her head to be followed by the barista pointing to my table so Yuri knows where to go. Okay, so this is a cafe we've been to normally, but I mean, I feel like I kind of already got the gist of that. I just forgot to mention. So maybe that's why they were asking if he needs a menu, because I guess he always knows the usual. Just seeing how Yuri turns with a smile and, and walks towards me makes all the tranquility and confidence I had vanish. Leaving me with nerves and a little panic that it's going to happen. What's going to happen? <laughs> Hi, Zero. It's good to see you again. I'm wondering the same, Yuri. What do you mean you're wondering the same? <laughs> I know, because he's I'm thinking the same. Okay, yeah, sorry. <laughs> you surprised me. I never thought you were the guy who would get here first to wait for the girl. How long have you been waiting here? I didn't want to keep you waiting, that's all. Even more so when you don't know the area very well. And I've only been here for 10 minutes. I was going to get here at 4.30, but Sayori intercepted me before I came. How nice. Well, guys, here's the menu. Would you like something to drink while you pick out something to eat? 
Usual, please. Um, what types of tea do you have? We have all kinds of drinks. Just tell us what you want and we make it. Or we create it. Pouring with laughter, the barista, while Yuri pulls out a faint smile. Could I get oolong tea, please? Right away, miss. While the barista's leaving, I grab the menu so I know what I'm going to order. I'm also just coming here for a drink. Let's just come here for a drink now and again, so I don't know much about the menu. I'm craving fries. When are you going to order, Yuri? I'm not craving anything right now, but I might order some dessert. Maybe a muffin. D don't you want to share? Um. Yuri shows me the menu and points to a large muffin for two people. Without being able to help myself, I turn to the barista who is watching us on the counter and laughs when he notices the, si notices the situation. Well, Yuri, if you want, you can order it. If you leave some muffin, you can take it with you. Or if you want, I can eat it. That's what she means by sharing. <laughs> Yuri laughs and nods, his and nods her head, which is my cue to call the barista. Boy! You could, oh, fucking, we're Kratos now. <laughs> Why are we saying boy? Is this not a grown-ass man? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm sorry. Like, is the barista not a grown man? Why are you this man as boy? <laughs> I'm looking at a boy. He quickly appears on the scene with the drinks we asked for. Have you decided what you're going to order? Yes, a lot of side of fries. Nice and crispy as always. What do you mean, as always? You just said you never eat here. <laughs> and for the girl? I'm going to want this muffin. Orders her muffin while awkwardly pointing to her place on the menu. Very well, in 15 minutes I will have your orders. If you have any other questions or want to add anything from the menu, feel free to give me a call. Thank you. As the barista's leaving, I notice that Yuri seems to want to ask me something. Um, but by the way, since when are you coming to this cafe if they started calling you Star Customer? What's that about? He didn't call me that. That's what he called you when he served me at the bar when you came in when when I came in. Well, it must be because it's just because since he opened, I've practically been, I've practically always been coming here. I was one of his first customers, as it was very close to my house. And since the gentleman in charge was a friend of my parents, well, I understand. That explains the trust he has in you. Anyway, I don't think I came here out of pity. Coffee and teas they make here are amazing, and yet there are only three people running this place. Yuri, after hearing me say that, takes it, takes her first sip of the, of her tea. Looks like she was waiting for me to compliment the place, so she'd be brave enough to try it. By looking at her face, I can tell she likes it. She, she likes me. I think she likes the tea. <laughs> but I mean, a little, a little presumptuous of yourself, buddy. <laughs> you weren't lying about how good it was. This oolong tea is better compared to the one I make at home. You don't know how relieved I am to say I am to hear you say that. I'm so worried the teas weren't your forte. You didn't give me time to know. I remember you said you weren't a fan of tea, right? Take the, you take my words out of context. And I can drink it if offered and make it if asked, but I'll always be more of a drinker of some other beverage, like juice or something. Sure. Maybe we should come to this place more often. It's a lot closer to my house than I thought it would be. Really? Like, how many blocks did you have to walk to get here? Actually, very few. It was like three or four streets, if I'm not mistaken. That's about a ten minute walk. Pretty close. For coffee. You said you live next door, right? Yes, my house is across the street. Why? Oh, no reason. I just wanted to know. I wonder if someday you want to date at my house. Oh, okay, that's weird. Don't say that. What? <laughs> huh? <laughs> don't, don't know. Why would you say this? I wonder if someday you'll want to date at my house. Dude, your first date's not even done. <laughs> it just started. You just got your drinks. <laughs> Why would you say these things? <laughs> what? See, look at her. She's scared. <laughs> you already ruined it. I hate this guy. <laughs> Don't worry, Yuri. I'm just kidding. Excuse my twisted humor. Although, all in all, I'm quite glad our houses are close. They make these types of meetings quite easy. Same here. You don't know how glad I was to see that the cafe was close by. I think that might have more dates with Yuri in the future. Okay, calm down. Slow your roll, Romeo. <laughs> Again, this first one's not even finished. You don't know how this could go. A promising future. Zero, I want to talk to you about- Here are your orders. Bon appetit and enjoy them. Uh, thank you very much. But thank you very much. 
barista as quickly as I enter the scene, leaves the scene to go back to the counter. I guess as they enter the scene. What were you going to say, Yuri? I don't know how to tell you this. Tell me what? Zero. I wanted to talk to you about Sayori. Sayori? What about her? Could it be that you saw her outside when you arrived? I've been noticing something about her that gives me a bad feeling. N no bad feeling that she's bad or something. But these days, the atmosphere around her feels heavy. Even though she shows a smile, you feel the weight in the air when you see her. Haven't you felt it too? Yuri. Yuri noticed it too? You noticed it too? These days when I saw Sayori at the club, I could feel that weight in the air. I felt that she's a different person than I remember, and many of her habits have changed. But I want to think that it was just me and Sayori just changed a little bit. Phew. You don't know how glad I am that I'm not the only one who thinks that. I thought about telling you today at the club, but didn't see fit. Didn't see it fit. Also because you were talking to the other girls, and I didn't want to interrupt you. Don't worry about it, Yuri. You know that... You know you can count on me with anything. Wait, well, I thought today she spent all the entire club reading. <laughs> okay, one of them is lying. Because <laughs> what is she? Because for his first, he's like, I was trying to talk to Yuri, but she wasn't really I was trying to share poems with her. But, you know, she, she, was just, she was just reading all club period. So no one could really talk to her. But then he's like, Yuri's like, oh, I tried to talk to you, but, you know, you're talking to everybody else. It's like, okay, which one of you is lying then? <laughs> You know you can count on me with anything. Yuri gives me a, sm a smile that warms my heart just by the side of her. By the way, and speaking of Sayori... Um... I saw her outside when I arrived. Oh no. <laughs> you seem to be keeping an eye on the cafe. <laughs> well, she's uh, watching so that no one comes interrupt us. I see. That explains a lot. Although she's so obvious that if any of the girls come over, they'd go to talk to her. Her clothes give her away quite a bit. Okay, she's just wearing a pink shirt. I mean, okay, fine. I guess pink shirts do make you stand out. But it's not even like a bright pink shirt. It's like a dark pink shirt. Like, what do you want her to do? Wear a trench coat? <laughs> I feel like just Sayori herself would stand out. Because they're like, oh, if she wore a black shirt, it'd be easier. I'm like, how? <laughs> she still has pink hair and a red bow. Like, they know what Sayori looks like. <laughs> Sayori herself would just stand out at that point. I told her it was something a little less flashy. You finish your share of the muffin? Probably change the subject to divert me from the uncomfortable topic we're getting into. Yes. Do you want to eat what's left? I think I'll give it to Sayori. I'm not craving sweets right now. Are we leaving now? Sounds good to me. Boy! <laughs> Boy! <laughs> you need anything else? Just a check and something so I can take what's left of the muffin. I'll bring them right back to you, young men. Young men? <laughs> okay, why do we keep referring to Yuri as with male pronouns? <laughs> Again, I'm assuming Spanish translation is probably messing with it. It's just more and more things. It's just like young men. <laughs> and I'm just like, okay. <laughs> the barista is, le is leaving quickly to get our things so we can leave. Thank you for posing this date, Yuri. You know how much I enjoy talking to you today. Giving her a smile equal in quality to the one she's been giving me these days. Here's everything. Give me a second. I quickly pull out my wallet and give her and give her her pay along with a little tip. You mean her? Don't you mean him? What's going on? <laughs> Here you go. Keep the change. Now we can go. Here he follows me out quietly with a bit of her typical shyness. Come back soon. We can put a couple's discount next time. Hearing that unconsciously, a shy smile escapes me. Instead, Yuri has a smile along with a very noticeable blush on her face. I heard that unconsciously? <laughs> oh no, I'm not, I'm not okay. <laughs> what a lovely girl. <laughs> we, damn, we were in the cafe for that long? <laughs> there wasn't even like that much dialogue in the cafe. Like, jeez. <laughs> As we have the cafe together, Yuri, we can both notice that it's already dark. Did we, we had Sayori standing out there for like the entire day? <laughs> Because, like, even when I, like, heard the idea, I was like, damn, they're going to have Sayori standing outside for, like, the entire date. But now that I'm like, we made her stand outside all the way until dark. <laughs> like, oh, my Lord. A little disconcert, a little disconsolate. I see my phone. 8.05 p.m. 
Yeah, we're way past our time. Oh my god, wait, we started at 4.30. She was out here for four hours. <laughs> Did she eat food? <laughs> I like how I'm saying this like Sayori was the equivalent of like leaving your dog in the car. <laughs> like, did we feed her? Did she get water? Yeah, we're way past our time. It looks like we won't be able to go to the park, Yuri. Sorry. Don't apologize, Zero. I quite enjoyed our time at the cafe, and that's enough for me. You don't know how reassuring it is to hear that from you, Yuri. We're leaving? Straight home. <laughs> Lead the way, my dear lady. Oh my god, we finally used the right pronoun. Aw, she's a little blush. After a while of walking in a comfortable silence, Yuri breaks it. You know, I never thought I'd be in this situation ever. Which? A witch? The one with a guy walking me home. So low expectations you have about getting yourself a partner. You're too beautiful a girl to have such low hopes. You really believe that? Of course. Who wouldn't think so? Zero, even if it sounds a little self-centered, I don't doubt my physical beauty. I just think that guys I've met have be are very bad influences, so to speak. It's just that the guys I've met have been very bad influences. I always thought it would take me a while to find someone worthwhile. Someone worthwhile. Thank you for joining me, Zero. No problem, Yuri. The shine is heating me up inside. Last thing Yuri said... Someone who was worth it. Yuri! Huh? I made you a poem. I... Yesterday, I, I made two poems, and... Taking it out of my pocket, I timidly give it to her. She takes it and gives it a quick glance. She knows perfectly well about it, and yet she wants to confirm it. By the time I realize it, Yuri has leapt towards me, giving me a hug, which at first catches me off guard. My heartbeat racing. But the warmth of her body gives gives me a sense of comfort and familiarity that calms my body. See you tomorrow, Zero. And thank you for the gift. Good night. What just happened? You got a hug from a girl. <laughs> Not that crazy. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, well, well, Alright, well, successful date. Good job. No mention of Sayori. I'm concerned. <laughs> The fact that he didn't even think about the fact that he left her. He doesn't even like, where's Sayori or anything? <laughs> like, what happened to her? Is she okay? <laughs> There's gonna be like some twist reveal that Sayori got fucking like kidnapped and you just can't save her. It turns into fruits. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting. Yesterday I was barely able to do everything Sayori asked me to do. I ended up exhausted, but at least I got to enjoy my date with Yuri yesterday. I already listened to the songs I had to listen to from Radiohead, and I honestly can't be bothered with that. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Their songs are really good. I've definitely been getting very comfortable these days. Wait, oh, he said he couldn't be bothered, but then he was like, Their songs are good! <laughs> Wait, you just already listened to it and I can't be bothered? Wait, no, he said he already listened to the songs he had to listen to, but then he said I can't be bothered with that. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Hello, Zero. I tried to ignore her by walking past her without saying anything. Why? What did she do to you? <laughs> if anything, you're the bad one. You left her outside. Hey, don't ignore me. I want to get back at you after you hung up on me yesterday, almost without warning in the middle of a conversation. I just wanted to piss you off a little bit. <laughs> That's bad. I was in a good mood today. You say that as if you don't like the idea of me being here. I say that while stroking her hair to ease the situation. I'm just not used to you being at the club yet. That's all. Sometimes I forget how spiteful you are, but at the same time, loving and attentive. I have not seen loving and attentive yet. I have just seen him be spiteful to Sayori. <laughs> I have seen this man be rude to Sayori, but nice to Yuri. <laughs> Sayori. Oh, I see you think you're exaggerating a bit. If I could start to be half of what you think of me, anything could be. You're degrading yourself a lot, Zero. Remember that other th remember that other than you, I'm the one who knows you better than anyone else here. What makes you think I'm special? Nothing makes us special, Zero. Our way of being makes us special. It's not a quality, not a trait about us. It's our personality and character that makes a person truly special. Remember that you could be at the worst point in your life. You might even think bad things every day. There will always be a new day in your life. No matter how many bad days you have, no matter how many times you get crushed, in the end, 
you're still you. And there will come a, that and there will come that day that will make you see life differently. There are you know better than anyone else than anyone else. Everything has ha has happened to me in my life. And it's not surprising since you've heard or since you've been or heard everything about me. I don't know what anything's going. I don't know what's happening. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sayori's just giving me like some weird Undertale speech right now out of nowhere, and I, I don't know. <laughs> the, the 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 translation, the the, the freaking translation, and the the bad grammar is not helping. <laughs> Glad that even after all these years, you're still by my side, best friend. Although the conversation got a little sad but hopeful, thanks to this one, I'm in a better mood to help you. It amazes me how you can change your mood with such simple things. With such simple things, honestly. Speaking of which, I'm a little hungry. Don't you want to come with me? To, don't you want to come with me to buy something? Or you say that as if I don't know you. Let me ask you something. Oh, it's gonna be the classic. When did you spend your money on this time? This time? Oh, I know what you're talking about. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I guess you can go shopping on your own. Or am I wrong? Eh? Uh... Pulling out of my pocket, I give her two dollars to, to buy a chocolate from the vending machine. There should be enough to buy you something. Thanks! Very soon as she takes the money, it runs out of my sight and out of the club. Practically running to the nearest vending machine. I mean, well, she did run, so yeah, no, she just, now she practically she was running. <laughs> wow, she was hungry. <laughs> that was very nice of you, Zero. That voice. As I turn around, I see Yuri, who apparently was next to us for a short or long time. Yuri! How are you? How long have you been there? Well, thank you for asking, and no, not enough to know much. I just saw you give Sayori two dollars and she ran out of the club. Told me she was hungry and to go with her to buy something. But knowing her, she wanted me to pay for whatever she wanted, so I gave her two dollars to go with her. Even though I wanted to go with her. Honestly, I was a little hungry too. What, what the fuck? What happened? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, now we're the one getting hit with the cookie. I was just about to mention how, all right, this is just like a rewrite of a uh, day two, I think, in DDLC with the cookie and everything. And I'm like, oh, yeah, no, this is this is funny now. Now we're the ones who gets hit with the cookie by Natsuki. That's funny. Suddenly, well, something hit me in the face. When I look down, it's a uh, cookie. When I look to the side where Yuri is, I notice that Natsuki's next to her. Natsuki? Try it. It's for you. Natsuki. It was supposed to be a surprise. Surprise? Sari gave us the idea to organize an event for your homecoming. Since the first time you came to the club, we didn't welcome you as we should have. I made some tea to drink along with the cookies and cupcakes that Natsuki made. Wow, that's amazing. Honestly, they wouldn't have bothered. We already did it and it's too late to cancel. Hello, Zero. I'm glad you're here. Oh, wow. They're actually, like, celebrating a new member. I was going to say, like, that... I don't think that actually happened in the base game at all. Because, like, you... Because you, when you show up, they just so happens that they're having cupcakes and tea. So, you know, I think that is an interesting idea for them to actually celebrate getting a new member. I actually I don't think I've ever actually seen a mod do that. Because I feel like clubs would do that, would they not? Like, you know, you get a new member, they'd celebrate. Because, you know... New member! Yay! <laughs> Especially with small clubs like these, you'd think they would have some sort of, like, little mini celebration. So, yeah, you know, that kind of makes sense. <laughs> That's cute. Natsuki, the chairs are ready. Great, I'll go get the snacks. I can imagine by that cookie you're eating, you know about the surprise. <laughs> Natsuki, mess Natsuki missed the surprise. And I missed, she, she, she told us, but yeah, I guess that's what it meant. <laughs> Don't worry, in the end, it's just an excuse for Sayori to eat from Natsuki's cupcakes. It would come from her. Hey, if you're going to talk bad about me, let it be up front. Don't worry, Sayori, we weren't bad-mouthing you. We were. <laughs> we were just talking about how your surprise was a macabre plan so we could so you could eat Natsuki's cupcakes. Oh, so we could eat Natsuki's cupcakes. Wait, that's not true. Well, partly. We all laugh at Sayori's bliss at trying to hide her craving for sweets. Natsuki joins in with a large tray full of cookies and cupcakes with eye-catching icing and some simulating animals. What are you waiting for? Have one! Sayori takes a cookie almost instantly that Natsuki allowed us to take from the snacks. Then Monica taking a cupcake delicately so as to not ruin the cat made of frosting she brought. While Yuri and I had a chocolate cupcake that had almost no frosting on it. Whoa! How boring. 
I knew you two were going to have those cupcakes. Hey, man, I'm with... Hey, man, I, I'm with MC, to be honest. I'm not a big fan of frosting, either. Like, I can eat it if I really need to, but, like, sometimes there's too much, and I don't know. <laughs> I'm not caring about Natsuki's words. I set out to try the cupcake. Before I take a bite, I notice how Natsuki fixes her gaze on me. You want to know my opinion about your cooking? When I take a bite of the cupcake, I'm surprised at how well distributed the chocolate is. Not just a plain chocolate cupcake, it has pieces of chocolate inside which enhances its flavor. God, Natsuki, this is so good! My voice cracked, it was that amazing! <laughs> I can't help but take another bite while I'm talking. Th thank you. Wait. I'm trying to finish eating the piece of cupcake so I can start talking. You appreciate my opinion? Yes, but don't believe it. Whatever your opinion would have been, I wouldn't have cared. All she said was thank you. <laughs> He's surprised? What? You're thanking me? <laughs> For complimenting you? What is this? You haven't even met her long enough to be acting like this. <laughs> you thanked me. Does that mean you didn't care? You're trying to annoy me? Not at all. Ugh. Changing the subject. Where were you, Monica? You were a little late to the club today. Monica being late? She was already here when I got here. Because you're a thousand times later than her, bruh. <laughs> bruh. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> if that was such a statement, I'd rather keep quiet until this topic closes. About that. These days, I've been trying new hobbies. And as you know, I've been trying to learn the piano. Ooh! That's amazing, Monica. You're going to play something for the club. Um... Maybe someday, but right now, I'm too new to the piano to create a song that'll leave me satisfied. The conversation has entered grounds where I have nothing to hold on to. Although I'm interested in music, I don't have much interest in creating it. Although it would be interesting to see Monica playing the piano. Turn my gaze to Yuri, who has been quiet all this time. Hey, Yuri. Yuri and I make eye contact, and that contact made me realize that I don't have any topic in mind to talk to her about. Hello, Zero. Which makes you a little panicky. Uh, trying to get my brain to produce something that'll be useful for me to talk to Yuri. I can only think of the songs that Natsuki recommended me to listen to. Ah, an idea comes to me quickly in my head. Zero? Is something wrong? <laughs> Did you, do you look like you're having a stroke? <laughs> uh, no, no, I just, I had an idea. <laughs> no, nothing's wrong. I was just thinking of a topic of conversation. <laughs> so, okay, he basically said that. <laughs> um... You know, yesterday I was listening to some music that Sayori had told me to listen to, and since I already advanced a big part of Prisoner. So I took the opportunity and listened to Prisoner. I was hoping that, like you said, it was about the book. But I was surprised to see the lyrics and noticed it's about love. Or unlove. Actually a little confusing. But I thought Prisoner was a book. Prisoner's a song? Unless he like, listened to the audiobook. <laughs> the audiobook. Why'd I say it like that? He's listened to the audiobook. Like, what? I thought, how's he listening to it? What? Huh? Was, wait, maybe Prisoner was a song. Did she recommend a song to us? I thought she only recommended books. I don't know. <laughs> in fact, although you're not wrong in saying it's about love, it's really about what was going on through the protagonist's mind. Using love as a curtain to hide the madness that is slowly dri driving him crazy as you go through the story. Although it plays with truth and metaphor, making it a bit confusing. That even someone like me, I wouldn't know how to tell you for sure about what the song means with the book. Okay, so it is a song with the book. Okay, so they made a song about the book. Okay, so it is a song. All right. So meta so metaphorical that even someone like you wouldn't know how to tell me. Did you get your style of telling poems from these books? I mean, I haven't read enough of Markov's portrait to make such a claim. Well, yes. I had already thought that was going to be my writing style, but let's just say these books were the straw that broke the camel's back. I understand. About that. Yesterday, we started with Portrait of Markov. But I never asked you if you had finished Prisoner. I wanted to know if... If we could read together. Oh, that? Don't worry, Yuri. I'm almost done. I think I'm going for the last chapter. If you want, we can finish reading the last chapter to comment on it. Just like the other day at the club's free hour? Yes. What do you think? I'm sorry, Yuri, but I'm already engaged with Sayori and Natsuki to do some things. We are? <laughs> How about reading it later? Or tomorrow? Again, I'm sorry, but I'm committed, and I feel Natsuki will kill me if I don't. I can understand the fear you might have for Natsuki. So don't ever think it. We have tomorrow all to ourselves. Giving Yuri a smile before she realizes what she just said. I feel like today is going to be a very good day. 
Okay, well, Natsuki gets some time, I guess. All right. After all with the girls. Okay, so we're actually going to hang out with Natsuki. That's a little interesting. All right. After all, with, after all that with the girls, I think I have enough time for Natsuki before we start sharing poems. When I get to the closet, I can see Natsuki in her usual spot, reading something that looks like manga. I could ask her, but I'm not really interested. Damn! Oh, hey, Natsuki. Oh, it's just you. Hey, Zero. What brings you here? My mouth is a, are you playing dumb? But Natsuki seems to be in a good mood, and I don't want to ruin it. Do you remember about yesterday? Zero and the deal we made? Oh, yeah. Have you listened to the Radiohead albums yet? Oh, yeah, we did make plans, right, to talk about it with her. Yes, and I was quite surprised. I didn't expect anything, but nothing from what I heard, and I only got to listen to three albums. What? Why? <laughs> it's just a typo. What is your opinion of them? Despite only listening to three Radiohead albums, I can say that each one has a different approach, despite being from the same group. I was able to listen to OK Computer, and Rainbows, and The Benz, which are the most popular albums. That, at least in my opinion, having a focus on OK Computer, I definitely like the whole album. Although The Benz is not far behind, having very good songs. Personal taste aside, I could say that with every album you try something different. I mean, you can't say that The Benz or In Rainbows is the same as OK Computer. Since each album proves something different, which makes it so you can't say that one song or album is better than another. Since they don't have the same approach, also from what little I saw, there are songs that are very overrated. Besides underrated, and honestly, some people say that exit music for a film is a bad song, or that it takes a while to get to the point, so to speak. But the truth is, that's a pretty good song that doesn't necessarily need what other songs need to be better. What is happening? <laughs> he is just info dumping on her. <laughs> like, what is, what is, like, oh, like, bro, this is not a discussion. Let her give her opinion. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know that in Ven Dead you'd put a real interest in it. Actually, it's a pretty good band, and I'm really glad that, thanks to you, I got to know more songs. And I'm sorry if I was too critical. <laughs> it's nothing for you to apologize for. Besides, did you know that X music for a film was created for the purpose of being used in a new adaptation of Romeo and Juliet as the ending theme? But it turned out that Radiohead loved how perfect the song was, so they added it to the OK Computer album. That's a pretty interesting fact. <laughs> Can't imagine how upsetting it must have been to have your final track canceled at the last minute. It's something that even Sayori would be annoyed by, actually. From those albums, which was your favorite song? You chose very good albums to begin with, actually. And I'm surprised your favorite album is mine, too. No surprises. Definitely my favorite song. More about personal- Wait, what song? What? We didn't say anything. Oh, wait. Oh, is that the name of the song? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, 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 don't, I know literally nothing about Radiohead. <laughs> More about personal taste. I can't explain it as a, as I'm a as if I'm a critic. God, it's a song that from the first time I heard it, I loved it. That's the best part. Every time I hear it, I hear it like it's the first time. Apparently, we agree that OK Computer is one of the best Radiohead albums, or not. I couldn't give the statement yet. I have to listen to all of their albums for my opinion to be worth anything. I think just seeing the surface and giving an opinion without knowledge is not the right thing to do. I wouldn't want to make several albums to be satisfied with just two or three. I'm liking you better and better, you know. Okay, guys, it's time to share poems. You all brought your poems as usual, didn't you? As everyone nods their heads, I take my poem out of my bag. Which I take the opportunity to take a look at it. Oh, damn, we got another one. Oh, my God, no surprises, just like the song he likes. No surprises. Under a sky without surprises, I wake up. The shadows dance to the beat of time. In a world where silence is a concert and calm guides like a lament. In every note and every sigh, resounds the essence of a soul in pain, like the echo of a dream that has lost its twist, in a landscape of serene melancholy. There are no surprises in this merciless world, only the monotony of one day after another, where hearts are sealed and the future fades into a somber face. In every word and every glance, hides the sadness of a lost time, like the rain that falls without being expected, in a sky that is already defeated, where each chord is a whisper of resignation, an endless journey towards an uncertain destination, where the only cert certainty is disillusionment. Well, there you go. It's more than clear that I was inspired by one of the Radiohead songs to make this poem. I have no hope that any of the girls will notice except Natsuki. Oh shit, we made a Natsuki poem, technically! 
We should show what poem to first. All right, I think for now I might stop it here because this is probably going to be a decent bit. So I don't want to be here for too long. So we're going to stop it here. I'm curious to see what Natsuki's opinion is going to be on this poem because, you know, now because now we made a Natsuki poem. I thought this mod was going to be him about strictly going towards Yuri, but maybe it's not. I mean, the thing on the bottom left says I can fix them. So maybe this is going to be going for one of those mods that like, you know, try to say help everyone's issues or something. But I mean, I don't know. We haven't really helped Yuri's problems. If anything, I don't think we really tackled anyone's issues. It does make me question how long this mod is. <laughs> I don't actually know if this is a demo or not. But again, I don't know. We'll see what happens next time, won't we? Anyway, if you want to download this for yourself, the link will be in the description below. This has been Zero. Peace.